It's time for us to unlock a new country as we venture deep into Austria to visit a festival we've heard a lot about. Welcome to Snowbombing. The opportunities that this channel has afforded us are crazy, and something new we've been able to add to our list over the last six months is snow festivals. In December, we went to Rise, a rave at the top of the French Alps. Then, in March, we revisited the world of tomorrow with an icy twist at Tomorrowland Winter. Now, it's time to close the trilogy of Mountain Madness with Snow Bombing. Celebrating its 25th year, this is the snow festival that we've been recommended the most, so we're super excited to see what it has to offer and how it compares to the other two. It's certainly has the best lineup of the three, but will it be able to match the wonder and discovery we felt at Rise or the immersion that we felt at Tomorrowland? You'll also be pleased to know that for better or worse, we're trying our hand at snowboarding for the first time. We are TPD TV. We are not professionals. Do not try this at home. You are watching The Real Deal. A huge thanks to the executive producers on Patreon. You are the lifeblood of this channel and we can't keep going without your support. Join now using the link in the description to get early access to videos, Discord access to chat to the lads and extended cuts. April's full of festivals through Europe and America and we're making an exclusive behind the scenes of the busiest month of the year just for you guys. So feel free to join now. Thanks again and on with the show. <laughs> Hello, hi there. You catch me here in Heathrow Airport in London and today it's the final snow festival. The third part of the trilogy. We're going to snowbombing. I'm proper excited for it. I like snowboarding. Love the snow, love winter, love being cold and I love it when Jake moans about stuff because it's so cold. I don't moan half as much as he moans. He's been moaning about his back all morning. We've literally just started the video and you're already arguing. But I've only been to Tomorrowland Winter. I didn't go to Rise but I think this one will be the best Snow festival. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. To a great to festival. A great festival. Oh, and yeah, a good cheers. squad. Moon Boots making a return, mate. Yeah. Good to see them. They're great, you know. They're just obnoxious, is what they are. A nice, easy flight to Munich. We're in Munich, right? Yeah. It's time to get us luggage because we haven't gone hand luggage. We've gone hold luggage. Woo! More yeah. coats for me to bring. Uh, the God, British have arrived. Hey, as, <laughs> my, as, my, as we're coming out, everyone All says three of you at the same time, so none of it is uh, distinguishable. I didn't, say, I didn't get to say mine. Well, you can see your bit now. It smells like cack. Oh. <laughs> it's warm. Get it. It smells like cack here. So apparently we're getting on a coach right now, and it's going to take two and a half hours. So we might try to get some drinks. We might not. It depends if there's a shop there. One thing we didn't anticipate is it is 26, going to be 27 degrees. It is red hot. I've got six coats in my bag. <laughs> Here she is, boys. Here's the chariot. Let's get on the coach. I'm feeling red off on a bus full of flies. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Snowbombing. We can finally say the name of the festival now we're off the plane. Not allowed to say it in the airport and certainly not on the plane. Um, your driver is Max. Please put your seatbelts on. Have a lovely time. Yes, All eyes from Yorkshire on an epic quest. Driving through Austria, feeling truly blessed. Windows down, we're rushing through our hair Sipping desperados, not a worry or a care Mountains so high, reaching for the sky Heart pounding, adrenaline running wild The beats drop, the rhythm takes control <laughs> So we're almost there now, uh, about five minutes away. It's not half bad, you know. You know what? Rise. This is so much better. Oh no, we still like Rise. It's not even sky yet. It's gorgeous. It looks really pretty. And it's got this little section just for Jake. <laughs> this is a nice one. Oh, you got a balcony? Yeah. 
Oh, oh this is God. great. Do you know what? I hate to say it, but it is a better start than uh, Tomorrowland Winter. It truly right? is. Literally the snow bombing sign right there. Oh, this is great. And we're going to be performing an exclusive DJ set of AI yeah. songs from this balcony using the UE roll. This does not feel like we're at a ski resort or anything to do with snow. It does. It just feels like we're at a ski resort in summer. It's that might make this the best one. I agree, yeah. Absolutely. It'll feel like a normal kind of like festival. 100%, I agree. I can see the thumbnail now. Snow bombing. Blazing sun on yeah. this Yeah. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> The Bibi! <laughs> Bibi part two! <laughs> Look, what does that, are we good then? Or can we pay on car? We're getting our first food. Thank you, I've got the cheeseburger from Burger Station. 15 euros, let's give it a whirl. It's like when you used to get a burger at Leeds Fest in like 2010, before like they had any real standards. They gave us some spicy sauce and then they're like, yeah, try it with this crisp. Use a small amount. So that's the amount they've told me to use. Too much? No, that's, that's fine, Raz. Raz, that's fine. Cheers, then. Cheers. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Quite spicy actually. Yeah? It's a nice. Quite spicy actually. Yeah. Uh, this burger's really fucking spicy. Fuck me. Oh. I stopped for one second to put sauce on my burger and they're that far away. So we've had a lot of messages saying that there's like a butcher's shop. It's like a real butcher's shop. They just put DJs in there and apparently it's something that like is not to be missed. Apparently there's someone quite notable playing it right now. So we're going to go and uh, have a look at that, see what's going on. Hopefully we can order some chorizo cuts as well while we're in there, you know what I mean? What's up with you, mate? We've literally only just arrived. Just had some 45 very minutes spicy ago. sauce. And the taste buds, they can take it. They can have a laugh about it. But the stomach, he's not happy. I've never he's seen really... you written off this quick from my something. He's really not happy. I might throw up. But then you got just to experience just, the sauce again. Just to get it sorted. Right, so we're in the queue for the butchers now, just after the chorizo, but it's re clearly very popular at snow bombing. Right, where can I get a drink? In here? Well, not here, this is a butcher's. We found a little bar, so we're gonna get our first drinks at the festival, and let me be the first to say, fuck Danny White. Well, that's a festival entrance that I'll talk about for years to come. Never forget when we came to snow bombing and within an hour of being on site, we we're in a butcher's shop. Great start. Only issue so far, them beers were dead. Yeah, they were shite. But we've seen some pretty nice drinks in this next place. I haven't paid enough for Uber yet. What's going on? So, Jake. Yes, man. You think that's Brandon Flowers from The Killers. The thing is, yeah, and, I and do. We don't know it is, but maybe the viewers can comment and educate us. So we've got Cy, Pesky. No. Oh, sorry, Van Persie, right? Robin Van Persie. And then him. Now, that's not Brandon Flowers. I think, because I, I can't work out who else it I would be. I think it's a comedian. What, going on like, like that? You might be hammered, I'm not. I've had four fucking drinks. God, this is so much better than, to than Tomorrowland Winter. <laughs> the, the general vibe is brilliant. The stuff down like a main strip, everything's accessible. Guess what, boys? What? We're gonna leave. Why? Yes! Or is it cash oh. only? Is that a bed? No, a it's in my clock. No, that looks like a bed to me, mate. It does, yeah. But what that is, is it's the hump for your wheel. That's not very clear at Wait, all. No. Oh, what? Where's right. the hump for the wheel? So, that is a bed. That yeah. is the wheel. No, it's not. Where's the That's bike? a picture of a bed, Dan. No, 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 no. That is a picture of a young boy. Come zoom in. 
I'm not you. No, look. That is a bed, unmistakably. Is a bed. Rock and alternative clubs. Stop playing chop suey by System of a Down. Look. It's shit. Just play something else by them. We Literally, look. System of a Down actually have some bangers. Right, I know we say we want to hear songs we were to, but that doesn't mean we want to hear the Android user kind of music. I suppose we'll deal with it this one time. Just allow it. He was doing, the, he put the mic up to his ass and he's doing the fart noise out of his mouth. Well, the mic's not going to pick that up, is it, man? I've fluffed enough podcasts to know that's not how a mic works. Speaking of podcasts, hey, subscribe to the podcast. You've got to hit that one again. Right, we're off to the main stage, which is called like the Cricket Club or something. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it's, called, it's called the Racket Club. The Racket Club, sorry. <laughs> I got I got three letters wrong. And we're off to go and see Ty Dollar Sign. Is it indoors? Must be. Yeah, indoors. It, it is underground, just like your dad. So we don't like to do this very often, but we're in the VIP bit of snow bombing because everyone that's got a VIP band goes into the VIP bar, which is obviously much less capacity than the general bar. And you end up like, like so we haven't, had, we haven't had to queue all night, have we? We haven't had to queue all night. No. But guess what we're about to do? Queue. We're about to queue up because we're... Oh my fucking God! What the fuck? tomorrow be like it's a new, like Whoa. literally a new day like we won't remember anything from today oh shit hey a great day tomorrow land no it's not tomorrow it's snow bombing like we've been walking for like at least like three minutes like <laughs> where the fuck is this hotel? no look, look get, get uber out no man like no, no we're so never gonna listen. literally the fuck it, we're never gonna get an uber now man what about, what about this vw here i'll take us to the hotel no that's not gonna do us mate oh shit we're here Pardon? I told you to drop us off outside the hotel. What do you mean? Sir? That's our, that's our... Oh, we're literally already in. Oh, is that, is that your light on there in the toilet? There's only one way to find out, and that's if the next shot is uh, me and Raz stood in front of that light on. Oh, <laughs> what are you laughing about? Just your pose, man. <laughs> Brother. What time are we on? Time is a, time is relative. Do you know what, mate? Time, <laughs> time, is, relative. time is relative to the place that you are, not the person um, that you are. But what time is it? <laughs> it's ten to two. Ten to two, right? Nice and early. But but it's ten to one back right. home. Get charged up. I am. I'll see you in that AM. Yeah. For some more shit. I'm up and about, knocking around. I've got a little mimosa here, some champagne and orange juice. There's a trampoline room in the hotel. Don't know where the boys are, but is this fucking sick? <sighs> Safe to say, we had a good night last night, feeling it a little bit today. And what better way to get on with the day than with some snowboarding? This is entirely better. 
better than skiing. Skiing is uncomfortable. Like weird boots that hurt when you walk. These are just like moon boots essentially. And you strap onto a board and you're good to go. Like skiing. Moon boots sound better than what they were before. Moon boots are great. Yeah. yeah. I'd like a pair, but we don't need them now. No, you do look like an you're not gonna. Vagina. You're not gonna wear. Come on, mate. I'm literally right fucking here. Take. You're not gonna, you're not gonna wear them in Coachella, are you? Am I not? Nah. Well, I'm not going. So. And then first the inside boot. Uh huh. So this side is the inside. Yeah. We've just got his boots. We're about to get a snowboard, and let me tell you, the snowboarding boots are so much more comfortable than skiing. If you do skiing, there's something wrong with you. Well, I did my hair for nothing this morning, did I? The boots are oh, you've done your hair. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so we're all kitted out. We got the boots, got the board, got the helmet. The only thing missing is the snow. God, it's too hot. You can ski on these. So the place we're staying is this place, and it's interesting. It's there's not a, there's not an ounce of snow anywhere to be seen. At least on my end. I'm sure the boys have got some snow where they are right now. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's important for me to just kind of take a step back and have a look around. And it took sending a message to Matty Bridie for me to realize how beautiful it is because we get, we get so used to like once in a lifetime experiences like this that it's, you know, and I don't say that to sound arrogant, but like you do, it is hard to fully appreciate the kind of surroundings that you're in. Matty Bridie sent me a picture of him in like a little cramped office and it kind of made me realize, you know what? Probably should get out of this hotel room and have a look around. We've got our ski passes. Snowboarding and skiing is a really expensive sport. And I've decided. I've decided it's not for me. God, it's so easy. Like, why invent a sport where there's so much faff? The, the higher we're getting up, the, the more my head's pounding. I, I think I think I'm really going up now. I'm gonna have a look at that butcher's shop where we saw uh, Fat Boy Slim. God, it smells absolutely delicious in here. I might actually get something, you know. So I got a fricadella, and this is a proper fricadella. I know that's what we said we were having at Tomorrowland Winter, but that's actually called a fricandel. This is a fricadella. That's actually wrong again. The uh, thing I'm eating there is called a fricadel, not a fricadella. So there's fricandel, fricadel, fricadella. Fricadella's the best, and it's the only one that I've not had for about 25 years. Anyway, on with the show. I don't know if you know this about me, but I grew up in Germany. I love these fucking things. Very different vibe from Fat Boy Slim yesterday. Cheers, everyone. Perfect, just what I needed. Now, we're gonna go into the spa, do a little bit of a shop. The place is massive. That's the thing in Europe. The spas are big. I remember at Rockham Ring, they had a nice big spa. Here we go. Let's get onto the snow. Hey, just some boarders, homie. Welcome. You know, you know how we do when we go snowboarding. Just catch, up, catch up with the drift. You know what I'm saying? This video is sponsored by Waifu. What? <laughs> Open your ears and pay attention, Raz. I'm telling you, this video has been sponsored by our dear friends at Waifu. That's right, they're back. And I couldn't be happier about it because what a fantastic product. I know what you're thinking. What's that? What is Waifu? Well, Jake Valley's going to tell you right now. Well, Y food is a meal in a bottle. It's not a health drink. It's not a protein shake. It's just loads of nice stuff in one bottle. See, you mean it's got all the vitamins and all the minerals that I need to get through today. Yeah, that's right. It's got all 26 of them and it's high in protein and fiber. Name all 26 then if you're that hard. No, I don't have time. Do you know what? I can relate because I very rarely have time to do anything. And that's why I love Y food because when I'm having a really busy day and I don't have time to have a proper sit down meal, especially that some area where everything's table service, grab one of these, gulp it down, get going. <sighs> that's a good slogan, you know. Grab, gulp, go. Grab, gulp, go. Grab, gulp, go. Hey, grab this, gulp that and go. Honestly, jokes aside. We love this product. We survive on these drinks. They're fantastic. We should let them back in. Thank you so much, Y Food, for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description and use the code on. Shut up! I am doing the ad read. Click the link in the description. Use the code on screen right now to get an exclusive discount just for TPD TV viewers. Y Food's great. Loads of flavors. Our personal favorite flavor is the cold brew coffee. The cold brew coffee is like having a coffee and a meal all in one. It's the double hitter. 
Let's see what Rob thinks down there. Rob, catch! <laughs> oh, it is absolutely wonderful. Thanks for hooking me up, Raz. And a big thanks to Wide Food for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description. Use the code on screen right now. Extra special discount. Thanks, Wide Food. I'm going to clean this up. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Jake's got his snowboard, ready to go. But when it's time to hit the slopes, he's moving way too slow. Ryan and Dan are catching air, feeling the flow. But Jake's a little pussy, afraid of the snow. Yeah. It's already, it's already really tiring. Yeah. <laughs> Worst part was we just didn't get a bottle of water. No. Could have really done with a drink. Yeah. You could anyway power through. Power one. But a board in his life, man, you can't stop. I'm about ready to stop. I'm not a quitter in life. I want to make that very clear. But I've tapped out of this. My head is pounding. I think obviously been a bit hungover. But also the altitude and also these glasses were a terrible idea because they aren't doing out for like all the light. So these guys, they're gonna carry on. I need to go get a water though, because I think I'm dying right now. Holding him back from sensation Brian and Dan, they're living life Full of inspiration While Jake's still learning Missing the celebration Slide into your DMs like The one thing that put me off this entire thing was the conversation he was telling us about how to fall because it's quite common to break your wrist and arm. Take a look at this fucking view. It's lovely up here. Now I know why people do all it is like this. Fuck it now. Good lord, it is absolutely roasting. I'm sweltering in just a t-shirt and I've literally got a wardrobe full of coats. I brought some coats I was excited to wear. You know, I like wearing my coats. And guess what, it's too fucking warm. It's annoying. Let's see what I got from the shop. Paprika tuck biscuits. Ice latte for me. Desperados for me. Desperados for Jake. Powerade for me. Powerade for Raz. These are some of my favorite sweets, so I always stock up on them in Europe. Snacking Choco Bonds for me and Raz. Secret little surprise for later. Crisps with my name on them. Sour Haribo Gold Bears. Never seen these before. Desperado for Danny. Desperado for Raz. Whatever the fuck these are, but they look very nice. Some water for me and Razoid. I forgot to shave, so some women's shaving foam and Bic One Blade razors. Sour Skittles, some deodorant, so I'm not using Razzies anymore. And then this is the headline act. Werther's original popcorn. I'm so fucking here for this. We're, we're looking for some food. Now, do you know anywhere? Like, do you know where to go? Because I ain't got a clue. No, so the problem that I have is this whole town looks lovely. It's beautiful. But everywhere just seems to be table service. Dan, what you got? I have got a lovely carbonara. Always have pepper with your lasagna. If you don't, you're an idiot. Season your food, man. People who eat food without seasoning, without, especially without sauce. You're a mentalist. These are the only pair of trousers I've got. I'm gonna have to try and fix these because thankfully this hotel provides sewing kits. I've sewed before and I'm not terrible at it, but this is a big job. <laughs> Nearly halfway out that first hole. I've already gone through a full like black thread. I'm finally done and I'm pretty happy with the final outcome. Look. Yeah, I mean, 
No holes. That's pretty competent going there, mate. Thanks, bro. I guarantee you they're going to split tonight. I would put a tenner on it. Just topping up my wristband. You can't choose a specific amount, which is a bit annoying. So I like to just round it to 50, but I wanted to put 58 on there. But it's only taken 30 seconds, even with me stopping to explain what I'm doing. And it's got Apple Pay built right in, which is great. It's half seven. Yeah. Or as we call it in England, Beer o'clock. Half six. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to a thing called Famous First Words, which we were kind of hoping was a My Chemical Romance tribute band. But unfortunately, it's not. It's some kind of karaoke thing where you got to only sing the first line of a song. So we're going to go see what that's like. Famous First Words! If you believe you can sing the first line of that song, not the chorus, not, not the artist. Shout out the artist, it's not a quiz. Put your hand up, make yourself known, make some noise. If you're the fastest person to do that, we'll invite you on stage and hand you the mic of destiny. Ooh. so you can have a silhouette of me. Independent toilet review. There's toilet roll, it's 11 o'clock at night. Um, there's no shit on the side, there's no sick about, someone's written grim. But this is the fucking, you know what, this is a really good toilet. It's a portal loop, which I didn't expect to see here because it's a very, there's a lot of buildings. Um, what the fuck am I on about? No, good, good toilet, lots of toilet roll. Um, no splashback, no poo, no sick. Plenty of space. I like it. We had a we had a pretty good night to be fair, watching like a band. And now we're going into the main stage to watch something called Hot Me's Hot. God, do you know what? I'll put it on the fucking screen, man. Okay, my jeans have done a 95% good job tonight. Apart from a little bit where I fucked up the stitching anyway. So there is a little bit of a hole in it. But I ordered some more, so next week I'll be wearing some fresh ones in a really hot desert. Good morning all. We're up nice and early, aren't we? I've been up since like nine. We're here, downstairs. We're here. Having breakfast. The beans for the protein. Got the egg for the protein. I got the other egg for the protein. I got the sausage for, sauce. Sos I got the sausage for. Protein. Protein. Um, bacon. I 
think that's protein. Yeah, I think that's some protein. So, and a croissant is, you know, I thought I'd be a little bit naughty and get something, oh, get a little geez, sweet treat. It's a cheat day. <laughs> yeah, again, I've got to work um, while we're out at a festival. Just makes it so I can actually come to them and still have a job without using up all my leave for everything. The, it is a bit shit at times because you don't get to do what you want, like the boys were off doing shit today. No, we're not. We're literally all sat, also working. Mom, what's he on about? I'm working out. I'm on, I'm on my lunch. Working out, or ginger bastard, eh? Hey, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, I'm quite for you, that. Anyway, back to the... Fair play, though, Dan, you're a good lad. Back to, back to you, mate. Um, and there will be for the rest of the week while I've got to work. But when you've got a view like this, it makes it all worth it, man. Like, it's stunning here. Really nice here. Like, this view is mental. Hold on, let me show Rob. Hey, Rob. Come on, come look at this view. Sorry to disturb your shower. Oh, that was daunting. <laughs> oh, my God. Isn't that nice? It's reminiscent of in, in Europe that time when yeah. we did this, the, this same thing. Anyway, I'm just going to finish. <laughs> yeah, all right, mate. Me and Raz going for a walk for no real reason. Just to check out the village. Just have a look at. Eh? There's yeah. this thing called the ice bar. Oh, and they okay. sell these things called white claws. Oh, okay. Nice and cold, nice and rainy today, which is what we wanted. They should bloody call it rain bombing now. <laughs> Press the like button. So back at the butchers, and I'm becoming a slim fat boy because I'm getting this lovely chili sausage. I thought because I've been such a good boy, I deserve a big sausage in my mouth. But it'd be easier to bite through concrete. Oh my god. <laughs> How the fuck you meant to eat that? Well, that'll be going straight in the fucking bin. Where is the bin? It's these bags over here off the side. <laughs> nice, bro. <laughs> Kobe. And we have come to this bar called the Happy Ending Bar or something. And the vibes are good. It was good watching the cars drive past, judging them. Whether they're good, whether they're shit, whether we know any little facts about them. Drinking a pint of beer. It's a good time. We just got this notification on the app telling us to come in here, uh, back to the butchers, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. And that's why it's important to have a festival app downloaded. Here we go. That was so efficient eating in here. And because it's a proper butchers, they don't have any ridiculous prices. We just got three of those Frikadella things for 10 euro 50. The burger you saw us have on day one was 15 euros. We wanted to come in, in here anyway. The vibe was kept alive. We ate, we were still having a drink. This is the spot. We're kind of working out where's next best to go. We've seen the vibe is kind of this side of town, but we're kind of gravitating that way towards the fun house which you saw us at all day yesterday yeah we can't do that which we can't do if we were punters here what would we, we do? we wouldn't be like let's not go to the fun house he's right because we want to show the viewers a thing oh, we the real the real deal the real deal the real deal impact font there you go. So let's have oh, the stroke as well around the text, sorry. Yeah, what, and a light, what, what size? Uh, usually five, and nice. a light drop shadow. Hurry up! Um, let's just do that then. Do what? Go to the fun house, because it's the hip hop thing in, in half an hour. I'm really sorry. I've, I've got to be honest. Yeah? I have just fired. Right, here we are, we're back, and we're seeing some kind of DJ. Yes, bros! What's wrong? Ladies and gentlemen, that is a long intro. It's a good intro, though. That is a nice one. Quite good, that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>
fuck up off her. I don't have any hands. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello. Hey. You know what? DJ Yoda was fucking great. Never have I seen a room full of 20 people one, two, one, two. turn into a room. We need to make some more fucking noise for DJ Yoda in a building, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. Hip hop all night. It's my kind of night. I want y'all to say Yoda. One, two, three. Yoda! Yes, sir. One more time. Give it up for DJ Yoda. Legendary DJ in the fucking building, man. And most importantly is this. Anyone that steps on the stage tonight, ladies and gentlemen, deserves the biggest fucking round of applause. Y'all don't get me through my tools. Break it down for the mic. I got to bring it to you cowards and it's gonna be quick. All your feet in the gym. Tonight has been sick. There needs to be more hip hop nights. Just generally. You're so right. You're so right. There's a big gap in the market. And maybe we need to fill it. As a man that doesn't like hip hop, it's been fucking brilliant. Truly. Maybe we should write a hip hop song. It can't be that hard. Now we're off to see confidence, man. I don't know what you're thinking. You see me all the time now. We're at the barrier here at uh, Tomorrow Land Winter. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Hello, Hello. No! There's no way! Do you know what? I'm not going to do you dirty like that. Uh... Bicep, apparently bicep is like fantastic. Hey, what up, boys? Hey, what up, what are you doing? <laughs> Better. You don't understand, I'm hammered. I've got a lot of texts oh. to send. Oh, I'll drop you. Uh, Good night. Is that, is that the end of the day? <laughs> DJ Yoda. He's the fucking man. <sighs> I've full on pissed the bed. <laughs> a full piss. In the bed. <laughs> I need to change my life. It's Thursday. Forgive the hair. Just had a shower. Just had breakfast. And I've just sat down to start doing a bit of work. But never before has my lock screen looked so much like the place that I'm actually working. Yeah, lock screen. Lovely mountains. There they are. What a place to do some work. Last night was a blur, <laughs> truly a blur. I've no idea what happened or what we did, but we'll learn together through the process of movie magic. Uh, today we're off for a dinner on top of the mountain, which is gonna be nice. Um, and in the meantime, uh, I'm just gonna sit and uh, regret every decision I've ever made in my entire life. So, see you soon. Right then, couple of basic bitches right here, and Jake, we're going for brunch. Now it's not normally something we do, and we certainly don't piss the bed. Don't ask me any questions about that. Uh, it's a, uh, the brunch is on the top of the mountain, so we gotta get the ski pass. The ski lift pass, yeah. it costs this much. What a great value, I would definitely recommend it. <laughs> it, it could be whatever. I have no is, idea how much it is. But whatever it is, it's worth it. You've been up there, haven't you? Yeah, I went snowboarding, don't you know? Yeah? yeah. It's time now. Yeah, that's why he's got the goggles on. <laughs> I, I am proper hanging out my ass today. I, I don't know why I didn't drink that much last night, but I'm just rough. So I'm going to go sweat it out in the sauna. I don't think you can take your phone in there because it might explode. And also, why would you take your phone in there to film other people? It would be weird. But um, I'm going to go do that while the boys are up the mountain enjoying themselves. I'm so sorry. Ooh, my first time seeing snow all week, like, in the flesh. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. There's the snow. There's the bus. <laughs> 
once again, no, I mean, uh, we find ourselves fucked by the cash only sign. So annoying, man. Just get a little eye settle or a um, little reader. Literally. To every business that does cash only, think about all the hidden sales that you're missing out on. Actually, the guy far. who sells corn on Brigitte takes card. What is this song? It's called Badder Dan, mate. Is it? Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard it before. Oh, it's, do you know what? It, it do not get old. If I had a quid for every time this has been played at this festival, it'd be mental. <laughs> I've had my first go in sauna. It's fucking lovely in there. I'm about to get in the freezing cold shower because that's what you do. You hot your body, cold your body, hot your body, cold your body. That's a thing. That I don't know why. But I'm going to do that now. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I'm going back in and I might go in the pool. And maybe there's a hot tub. I don't know. But I'll see. And we'll see what's going on. Hello, we don't, we don't do TikToks, but I've just invented this new phone grip. Just look for the red umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that working? Bad news, you're up. Yeah, up. Welcome to the life of a curse beer. I'll, I'll love you. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Why is your beer taste flat? Brilliant. This is it. Big hot room, very warm in here. It's very nice. Hair is all over the fucking shop. Right, am I receding? I think I am, I? I've just come to another sauna. This one's called the Nature Sauna. It's a bit, you know, I, I know Europeans are into some some stuff, but it's a bit swingerish. There's weird lights with a, a champagne pot. So everything's glass and see-through. And I don't know. Oh, What's the weird? Oh no. Oh, you can get a glass in front of you, just don't touch it just for now. What up kids? It's me, R. Kells. No, I maybe should call myself that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, schnapps and it comes from like a root that only grows this high up above sea level. And you've got to do this thing with your fingers, so follow along at home. Click the like button first using your fingers. And then this is my second one, so you've got to put two fingers down there and your thumb like that and it it tells everyone around you how many you've had and make no mistake i'm the only man here who's had two so cheers it doesn't it's already got lipstick on as well so technically that counts as uh first base cheers <laughs> here's the dessert Fetch the suitcase from the fin Cause if you want the best ones But you don't ask questions Then brother, I'm your man What'd you get? <laughs> <laughs> what, ice cream? <laughs> Weird looking ice cream, man <laughs> What is it? Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I, 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 Tell us what you think I, I haven't even fucking tried it yet <laughs> Do you know what that's nice, Sam? Yeah? Yeah Nice Yeah Amazing. How's yours? Good to lovely <laughs> What is that? What's happened then? Well, thumbnail for what? So, I've seen this guy on like TikTok or some bollocks like that and he gets like kicked out of places because he just walks around with that thing and like parties. Anyway, I really like him because I got a free oh, fireball. I want the fireball. <laughs> Let's get in, get in! Oh, we're never getting in. Hey, do you know what? That's, um, that's funny. That is good. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to steal your job right now. <laughs> so go here. Yeah, this. And get your feet together, get your feet together. I can do this, I can do this. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's do this, let's do this. That way is a ton. Carry some surround with it. Go on. Strong 
Okay, we're going to the street party, which is a party, but get this, it takes place not on a stage, in the street. I'm sure there'll be a stage there. Uh, it's rudimental. I think I've seen them before at Latitude, but I might be totally wrong. Um, but if I'm right, they're good. And you can tell I've been drinking for four days. But here's the one that's driving me berserk oh, I don't want fools and horses work Oh, I can't bring my fireball in That's the good man, man. Yeah Ladies and gentlemen, it brings me distinct pleasure to welcome you to TBD's Brass, what's the toilet thing called? One interesting thing about my toilet in particular is, you know, you've just finished having a piss if you're a lady or having a banging shit if you're a lad and you go to reach for something to wipe your ass with and the toilet paper just has little raccoons on it. Just loads of little raccoons. Isn't that lovely? Just something to brighten your day. Did you have a look at the toilet paper? Oh, no, I didn't even know it's in toilet paper. Mine had little raccoons on it. What do you mean? Just had little pictures of raccoons. Oh, nice. Just like... It's, it's a small detail. Yeah, it's well just, done small, re just, just really nice. So the street party is like... It's not a separate event for snow bombing, but it's... If you're a resident of Meyerhoff the village, then you can just come in. So it's kind of a nice way that, obviously, all of the wankers descend on this lovely idyllic village once a year. But it's a nice way to kind of give back to those people by saying, come in, listen to some uh, EDM. <laughs> You had to be there. Wait, <laughs> let Jake have a go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> throaty. Yeah, you've got yeah. to do one yeah, as well. I will, I will, I will. Give, give him one as well. It's not like the hot chip challenge thing. Wait, no, just... the, the crisp and hot. Cheers, boys. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Hey, right. cool. To the rest Cheers. of the <laughs> Oh, holy shit. Nice. Holy shit. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I might need to buy water. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> if you like this content, you'll enjoy Hot Twos on the second channel. Enjoy the latest episode where Matty Brady does just this. We're creatures of a habit. like fuck I'm tense as fuck my stomach isn't it's just doing twisty turns 
<sighs> it's the last proper day of snow bombing, uh, which means we're going to have to have a big old blowout. We've got a stacked day today. We've got Bongo's Bingo at fucking 12 p.m. Whoever thought that was a good idea. And then we're off to go see a DJ that we met yesterday who uh, is do, doing a reggae shack or something, which sounds pretty good. Then we're going to use the pool and the spa and the gym and the amenities in the hotel. And then... I don't know how you feel about this, Jake, but I think what we should do is get really fucked up this evening. Ooh. Nice glasses, these. Mm. Ray-Ban Wayfarers. <laughs> Today is the day where we've got everything on. Yeah. Thanks for a great trip so far. Thanks so much. The problem with Bongo's Bingo is because you get hammered, you just forget to play the bingo. But this time I'm going to try really hard to play it and win as well. Maybe the Austrian police. It is. Police and helicopter. I'm struggling concentrating. I'm not able to work today, so it's a mental health day for me. Um, I know not everybody's able to get them, but they're good. But I feel really fucking conflicted because I want to go and make myself feel better. I want to, and because I'm here, it feels kind of bad. It's like I can't work. It's not that I don't want to. It's just I fucking shit ain't working for me today. I just don't, I don't know what to do. Like I want to go. And snowboard. I want to go and be with the boys, but because it's a mental health day, I feel like I shouldn't, and I don't like that because today's about getting me back to normal. And even now, like, I'm sort of fucking saying this. Two lines, sometimes known as a fat line or a fat stripe if you're from Liverpool, but uh, this is very important. The two lines must be within the same house. So if you open your finger, Ready to go, mate, for the first time. Cheeky, cheeky number six. You know what's really good? I saw him go over to the bouncer before and, and just check that that was all right. <laughs> We're going up to the We're reggae shack up on the top of the mountain and I'm very much looking forward to it. I decided, fuck it, I'm going to go skiing. Or snowboarding, sorry. Because um, I can't be asked staying in a room when I'm like this. It'll just make me worse. It's my mental health. It matters more to me than a job. Um, but on that note, like, I just want to say therapy, and this is uh, especially to the men out there, therapy works. It's the best fucking thing in the world. I know you still end up with days like this, but I can't recommend it enough to everybody out there. If you've got something going on, if there's any issues in your life that you want to sort out, they're there to help and they really do help. Like, don't be scared of them. They're there for you. What? First song, one of our favourite songs of all time. As we take it back like this. Listen. Fuck out. Just look at it. Yeah. Shall we? No sounds, bitch, no music. Hey. No hype. With somebody who. Hey. Cheers. Oh. Tell you what, I've had worse places to piss. Look at this view here. That's fucking great. Having a slashing little year and a looking out of Alps. I'm, today might not be a ruined day. That needs to be the last one from the Uncle Dux. Make some noise for yourself, Massey! Can't innovate anymore, my ass. Shit, shit, we gotta ski it down. Are you okay, bro? You okay? If you need, if you need help, ask me if I'm okay. Yeah. I'm on top of a mountain. Yeah. With the blazing sun on my face. Yeah. Laid down in the snow. Yeah. My favorite weather. Yeah. I've got a white claw in my hand. That yeah. Was free. Yeah. And I'm hanging out with Jake and Raz, and you're asking me if I'm okay. Yeah. And no, I'm not. <laughs> I want more. Let's ride. Tell me why he's got to fight, gotta clear his mind, gotta take that ride on the mouth, his folks catching air like a pro snowboarding fast, letting go of all the woes. He grabs his boy, strapped up tight. Tell me why he's got to fight, gotta clear his mind, gotta take that ride on the mouth, his folks catching air like a pro snowboarding fast, letting go of all the woes. I thought he was better than this. <laughs> <Isn't it>, right? <laughs> 
he's he about, was bragging he, about being like really he's about as good as guy, me it's the thing where like you know like he's done it once and he's so confident we're never gonna do it that he's like yeah i know what i'm doing there i fell over about as many times as dan did then on the way down here we're here on the ski lift in Austria at Snowbombing Festival and you're here for now the annual loudest whistle-blowing contest in a ski lift. Our first contestant, Mr. Ryan Eagle! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mulligan. Okay, full start. Mulligan. Mulligan. <laughs> Oh. Next up to the podium, uh, the yeah. man, the myth, the legend, Jingle! <laughs> 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 ah, disgusting. And last up to take part of the chat. <laughs> and last up we have Mr. Big Nose Robert Big Nose. Just, I'll just edit the video for this one to be louder. <laughs> Comment down below. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the nicest view I've ever had to have a piss. Look at this. I've just done the first blue run. We did red on first day. And uh, the blue run shit, it's made for skiers, dead skinny, wiggly windy, you're straight lining. Not fun when you don't know how to properly hold yourself on a snowboard. But um, I'm feeling a little bit better. That, you know, the endorphins from working out, they're definitely helping, but I fell over a few times because my legs are dead shaky. Made it. I'm loving it. Oh, I need some. We go into the pool and we need some drinks for buying the pool. So we're going to get, as Rob just said, Desperados. Really perking me up now. It's making me feel better. Bit of sports, bit of summer going on. <laughs> What's it going on? Where is the pool? Oh, is that a fun house? That's literally where we've spent. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, 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 sorry, boys, I'm fine, I'm sorry. What you are witnessing here is three happy boys. Like, we was, we were laid here on these lounges inside this pool thinking, God, could life get any better? The pool's heated, by the way. Could life get any better? And then someone turns this on. I had no, I couldn't even comprehend that this was a thing. And then, and then it just was. Incredible. Life is good. I had a sneeze so hard I've really put my rib. This is something we like to do when we've been yobs. And I say we, I've instigated it, so come on, Jake. No, 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 my rib, no, my rib. Honestly, stop. <laughs> you Honestly. cannot fathom how much my rib hurts. You need to get it checked out. Check this out. Well, that was absolutely fan-fucking-tastic. So we're gonna go to the adult street, uh, the adult steam room. What's this? It? This is the set. We're gonna do a, a challenge. How warm can we get this can of desperados in the steam room? So as we walk through here, you're gonna see a sign. Luckily, there's no one behind it, so we can do this. We can film it. But get on this side. This is the naked area. No swimwear. You gotta get more naked. Man. You have to get fully naked to yeah, go in. Yeah, cut them all the Jordans, man. <laughs> That was funny. Oh, it, it, it was like, it was like, are you guys stuff? I was like, press. I was like, please let me take this through. I'm very burnt. <laughs> you are very burnt. So what the fuck is this then? We heard a brass band playing McFly. Bad news, Raz. It's happy hour. I had to get you a drink. It's two for one. For two hours, you do happy hour. Where buy one, get one free on me. Well, I'm happy anyway from the pool. Hey, speaking of happy hour, is that Jack, mate? Come on, Come on, Roll the 
clip. Right then, guys, back on the road. The group here seems to have done the typical British thing. Go to a foreign country and just go to a British bar. It, it's my face red. Yeah. Yeah, I've also. Yeah. Sorry, can we do that again? I didn't vlog it. <laughs> Last night of snowbombing. We've had a really wholesome evening. We, we really that has have. been a great evening. It's been so and fuck you, Matty Bridie, and the rest of the gang. Why? Oh, if you know, you know. What's going on? We just jumped out the window, filmed the window. And now I'm on this guy. What should we call him? Joffrey. Joffrey the horse. And we're just sending it around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man down. God, that's not made for two. <laughs> should we see if it's made for three? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Hey, <Oi>, Bambino! <laughs> <laughs> I am leaving snowbombing. I've got to say, it's been fucking excellent. TPD DJ set right now. <laughs> So the horse going on. We've got a bit of a crowd that are constantly walking. That just means... Stop bombing! How are we feeling tonight? <laughs> the crowd constantly walking. It just means it's recirculating, man. It's just fresh, fresh people constantly. We don't want none of that old shit. Come on, thank you. Jake Valley, man. You know what? I've knocked on his door twice tonight and he's not come out. <laughs> oh, there we have it. Snow festivals completed them. Um, I know there's a couple more out there, but um, for now, I think. We've got a really good wealth of experience. Um, this festival was simply outstanding. We all left feeling so content and so satisfied, so grateful and so full of love and appreciation for not only each other, but for the people that we spent um, some of the weekend with. Some people that we'd met before, uh, some people that we know kind of well and some people that we'd never met before and um, it was just really cool we generally don't go on many what you would call a press trip um, though we're always really grateful to, to be invited but but this one it just felt so right and it was it was a great way to do it the, the festival was fantastic I think we've I think I've realised what Tomorrowland Winter was missing because I mean, make no mistake, snow bombing was the best. And we've all agreed that snow bombing was the best. But I'm aware there is obviously a bias because Rise flew us out and snow bombing flew us out. Whereas Tomorrowland Winter didn't. Um, but if we just kind of... I know it's hard to pretend the bias doesn't exist because I, I recognise it will. Um, but even as a concept, the location of Rise and the location of snow bombing is so much better than the location of Tomorrowland Winter regardless of where on the site you're staying because you've got a whole village there with loads of bars and even nightlife when it's not to do with the festival 
Oh, it was great. I don't want to ramble too long and make it seem like I'm artificially extending the video. There's some people I want to give thanks for, um, or thanks to, um, and that's Nick and James, who sorted out Rise, um, Frederick, who helped us out with Tomorrowland, and the amazing team at Zeitgeist, who sorted out snowbombing for us. I, at 30, I'd never, 31, I'd never been to, like, one of these ski resorts and now I'm so lucky to to have been to three of them archived on camera with my best pals so super blessed shout out to everyone that was with us on the trip hope to see some of you again soon and um we move now when you watch this we'll be sweltering in the desert that's the proper start to the year we're ready to rock and roll everything now is full fucking speed ahead triple a content Love you and leave you. And of course, the biggest thanks. Sorry, I've had this cough for about two months. The biggest thanks to our incredible supporters on Patreon. We love and appreciate you so much. And there's a sizable behind the scenes of the entire month coming just for you lot once we've finished in America. So thank you. Love you and leave you from me and all the lads. Until next time, we'll see you in the desert. Is it Lord or Lordy? <laughs> L M Mastodon. Put it back on. Jesse 